A lot of people have called me very adorable. Adorable, yes. My name is Mariah Schneider, I am 23. I got injured in the army and I had to go home. So how and where do I go for my next steps to get back up on my feet and be happy again? So I'm doing a lot of core classes right now at Rio Salado College. So I take about two of them at a time, one or two per semester. And right now I'm trying to finish up my core studies so I can get through my general associates. I also do a 40 hour work week. There's something about Rio Salado that's been super time efficient. I've been able to figure out classes faster, so I'm a lot more farther ahead than if I tried to start at another and then also commute time and everything else. I've always just wanted to figure out how do I help people and also be creative. I'm always told, hey, just choose something. You don't want to shut these doors before it's too late. I struggle with big choices because of my own anxiety. Straight up. It is literally anxiety. I want that resolution. I want the conflict to end in the back of my brain on, is this good enough? Is it going to be in the market in 10 years from now? Am I going to have the life I want? And I'm almost paralyzed by the decision. And that's why I'm really hoping that talking to professionals is going to help me. How did you get through the anxiety? Because that's something I'm currently struggling with on how to get to that next step. So we are interviewing Jay Dillard. She is a real estate agent here in Las Vegas. I am pretty excited. I'm Jay Dillard. Uh, let's see, I joined the military, got out of the military. Now I've been here for about 15 years. We have our own business and I also do real estate. So. I am actually uh, a foster child. I think at three days old, that's when I went to my foster home. And lucky, I was lucky enough that they kept me until I was 18. So I didn't have to go from one foster home to another foster home. And we grew up in the projects, you know, so I didn't have many friends. I'm more of an introvert. And so literally everything that I know and learned, I had to do it by myself on my own. You don't have a roadmap or any kind of guidance or any kind of understanding of like how to get to where you want to be. It's just all done by research yourself and everything like that. So how, how did you get comfortable being more introverted? How did you get more comfortable meeting with people? And it's that whole thing that they always say on the other side of fear. <laughs> That's the whole thing right there on the other side of fear. It's pretty much probably everything that you want. So mm -hmm. I try to do most of the things that like, oh, I'm afraid to do this or whatever. So, you know, just go and talk, you know. So, yeah, you just got to get over your fear. And it sounds simple, but it really isn't. Mm -hmm. Everything that we're doing today has to somehow progress me tomorrow. So that's kind of how I make my decisions. What am I going to do today that's going to help me be better tomorrow? How did you get to this level of awesome positivity? Every single thing that you've mentioned has been, how can I make today great? How is this going to benefit tomorrow? It's just so positive and refreshing. You just kind of just take what you're given and try to make the best out of that. You know, find something that's bigger than you that can help you gravitate towards what it is you want to do.